You are hereby advised that the tips, tactics, stunts, and tricks displayed on our videos are performed by professionals in controlled environments such as closed ranges. Do not attempt to duplicate, recreate, or perform any of these at home, as personal injury or property damage may result. The producer of this video is not responsible for any such injury or damage. All right, Alpine Butterfly. Really good knot to have. Start with the rope over your hand like this, do your karate chop knife hand. Two more wraps. Bring back one forward, kind of pinch it with your fingers there. Now we're gonna take this one, bring over the top, push it through. Cinch it down, got a little thing like that. Pull both your tails, the knot will flip. And there you go, your Alpine Butterfly. You got a nice little, uh, looks like a necktie or uh, a certain part of the anatomy, Alpine Butterfly. This particular knot was taught to me by one of the FEMA USAR teams. They use it uh, for moving big blocks and things, and it's, it's kind of a fun little knot. It's called the cat's paw. So take your bite, do two twists, like so. Take your beaner, clip through the top, cinch it down, and you have what looks like a little cat's paw. It's called a cat's paw knot. Not sure what to use it for yet, but it's kind of a cool knot to learn. I'm quick show you how to do the Munner hitch. Munner hitch is a, uh, a hitch that you can do around a carabiner. You can use it in place of any kind of descent control device. So if you don't have a rescue aid, ATC, or whatever descent control device you like to repel with, you can use a Munter hitch. It's real handy, uh, really cool little knot. So we'll do it real quick here. Take your length of rope, create a loop, okay? Take the working end, bring it around the bottom, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna clip our carabiner right there. Go through like so, cinch it down, there's our monitor hitch. This will provide enough tension that I can use it to control my descent. So at this point we have our monitor hitch. We decide that it's not enough friction. We're uh, repelling or moving down the rope too quick, so we want to add more friction. We can take the monitor hitch and turn it into a super monitor. Okay, at this point there's our monitor hitch. We've got our tongue, we got our tail. We're going to bring this, the working end, bring it around the back, up, bring it through our carabiner, cinch it down, and we basically have a munter on a munter, which creates the super munter, and uh, you can pretty much lower a Volkswagen off a cliff with that. Quick show you how to use a prusik hitch, real quick, safety device, uh, for when you're doing vertical stuff with rope. So we have our rope here, it's anchored off, this is a piece of half inch. Our prusik is tied with a double fisherman's. Uh, this particular prusik is about six, mil six millimeter diameter cord. Uh, key with prusiks, they have to be two to three millimeters shorter than the cord you're wrapping. Otherwise, they won't work. So to do it, you're going to wrap the cord a couple times. I'm um, sorry, you're going to wrap your anchor line a couple times, cinch it down. So working with a flaccid rope is a little bit hard, so we're going to want to try to get that a little bit tensioned up. Uh, a good way to do it, you don't ever want to wrap your arm around it. You can get under your leg there to get it kind of nice. When you do a prusik, always start with the knot. It's a lot easier. So do your knot, pass it around twice, cinch it down. Clean it up, and there's your two wrap prusik. Okay, when you're done, you want to make sure you have the bar that goes over all four and it's nice and clean. Now, what this does, how this works, where the magic is, I can slide this all day, no problem. Move it up and down the rope. However, if I were to trip and fall, if I was connected to this, it locks up completely. You can see that there. Again, two fingers, slide that all day, but if it gets loaded quickly, it'll lock up and grab. Now, this right here, Two wrap prusik, this is fine for a single person load, just yourself. If you're doing a rescue load or two people, you wanna do three wraps, not two. Zert is a worldwide membership-based organization that uses zombie as a metaphor for any natural or man-made disaster that could occur in our lifetime. Your zombie could be hurricanes, tornadoes, floods, a deadly force encounter, or civil unrest. Zert is about being prepared, trained, and most importantly, armed with the proper mindset to see you and your family through to safety. Zert is not just an organization, it's a lifestyle. ZertNation.com